What's going on, everybody? Here and welcome back to Terra Nil. It's been so long. It feels like it's been so long since we played this game, since we checked it out. It, it there's a free demo available. It's still a free demo, and it hasn't been announced yet. But I wanted to I wanted to play the demo again because it's just such a good, relaxing, fun building time. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all for things. Again, free demo down below. So if you want to check it out, or if you missed it the first time, uh, you can check it out. So we're gonna hop in. What is it? Well, you basically reclaim a wasteland, and it's just such like it's such like a it it's what it's like a completely different take on on like colonization and like you know uh everything it's just it's so cool you'll I, you'll love it just stick around you'll love it um anyways welcome to Nil. your goal is to rejuvenate this wasteland covered uh covering the landscape in greenery okay so as you can see like whoa but before we try planning your right move because wait a second this is different this is not even remotely the same as what we played before because before there's like rivers and stuff like that. I wonder. You can press and hold the mouse button and uh, try it now. You can also pan. Yep. Uh huh. Just zoom out. Okay. Yep. Zoom out. We did that. Just start with a turbine. Select one now. Interesting. Okay. This is different than what we've played before. So I'm actually kind of curious about this. Let's go ahead and place that there. So as you can see, like as we place things, um, things need, you know, like power and whatnot. This is interesting. Now that you have power, you can finally clean the soil. Try to fit four toxin scrubbers as far as possible from the wind turbine. These are toxin scrubbers. So basically what we want to do is we want to place these things as far away from this thing as possible. Because look at that. Oh, it makes the soil good again. Yeah. All right, let's place one here. We'll place one over here. And over here. I'm actually curious if this is like the whole thing or if it's gonna like zoom out and then we're gonna have like the rest of it Because like before there was a lot more to do clean the soil uh, Clean soil provides a perfect place to grow greenery and place three irrigators on the clean soil They can be rotated uh, using the mouse wheel or that. Okay now As you can see we can change the shape of these things too So we can do like that corner that corner that corner or we can do a straight line now We can only really place them in areas that already have like clean soil So let's do one there Oh, look at how pretty it is. Clean soil provides perfect place to grow greenery. Uh, place three of them. Okay, so let's do this again. Let's see. It looks like we're going to hit the most. Maybe right here. And then... Right here. Oh, look at how beautiful and green. Hey, there we go. There's the rest of the map. I knew it. I knew there was more. Terra Nil. Don't tell me that was the end of the demo. Okay, <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, are you kidding me? <gasps> oh my gosh, that would be awful, wouldn't it? All right, so uh, from what I remember, our goal is to move this. Uh, this is our current climate. We want to reach right here because that's going to be perfect climate for humidity and temperature. So that way we can grow more. Now, uh, let's go through. Let's see what we got here. We got a calcifier, but we need running water for that. Um, an excavator that's going to shoot a uh, a crack in the surface so we can run water. But then we have a water pump. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's look. Where can we place a good water pump? Uh, we could go ahead and place a wind turbine here. Let's do that. And then let's also place a water pump right there. So that'll fill Let's place it like right There Oh look at the water <gasps> Oh it's so pretty It's so great Oh I love it I love it Okay So we got water there We need to get some water down here too I want to get like all the water everywhere So let's get a wind turbine in here Let's get another water pump in here. That'll finish this off. Oh, perfect. I love it. I love it. Now, from there, we've got a calcifier. It crystallizes nearby greenery, creating rock. Um, excavator provides another canal. So if we grab the excavator... 
and we turn it we could we could see where it's going to uh essentially make a, a, a like a water canal but we do have to place it somewhere that's going to work so like man we need it like right over here actually let's go ahead and get a wind turbine in here and then can we place one so that would bring water like all the way over here do we need water all the way over there i don't know if we need water all the way over there yet i guess we'll find out let's go ahead and let's start let's start getting things green here let's see let's grab that let's go ahead and grab our toxic waste removal so go ahead and hit one there i'd like to get one over here somewhere you know what if we do a a calcifier right here put a wind turbine up we could hit the uh, excavator right here and it would shoot a line of water down here then we could do another calcifier and then we could get another wind turbine let's try it let's try it i actually don't have it i never really played with these a whole lot so i'm actually kind of curious so we'll get that there and this let's get rid of that right there boom oh that's neato and then we can place another water turbine right here and then we can place another calcifier right there another wind turbine right over here and then that'll give us more room to do some more of this oh look at the beautiful soil look at the beautiful soil let's try to get everything as green as possible now i gotta make sure that we still have stuff uh here in order to be able to build everything but this should let's go ahead and do like a straight like this it's gonna give us another 176 let's go ahead and do another one let's see that's gonna give us 612 616 all right we'll do that now eventually we're going to hit rain and then that'll start watering everything. So we just got to get to that point, really. So that's looking good. Uh, let's see. Let's look at it. Let's do some more soil stuff over here. Maybe right there. Maybe over there. Let's see what else we got. We got some we got some stuff over here going. Let's grab that one. All right, how's this looking over here? And you know what? Let's grab this one. And then we'll use this guy. Not that guy. This one. And then we'll hit like a, a 90. Ooh, do we want to do a 90 there? Or do we want to just do a couple? Yeah, let's do this. Because that'll cover almost everything. 148. And then let's grab another one. 80, 81... 97 102 that's pretty good okay we'll do that one because the higher the number the more area it's actively covering uh target greenery coverage percentage so that's what we're trying to hit right now and then after we hit that then we'll have a new uh a new goal let's go and get one there let's get some soil in there that looks good Maybe some soil over here. And let's grab one of these. 140. I thought I thought I thought I saw 147. Alright, we'll hit that one right there. 77%. Let's get another wind turbine in here. Get another soil sucker here. <laughs> the soil sucker. I love it. 
Now let's get a greenery thing in here. 177? It's 87%. Oh, we're getting there. We need to do some stuff over here too. All right, more soil suckers. Soil sucker, soil sucker. Let's do a soil sucker there too. There's 180. Let's go ahead and do another one. There's 99. All right, you've successfully repopulated this wasteland with plant life. Now increase the biodiversity of the ecosystem by restoring three biomes. Press the uh, two tab below to access the new buildings. So now we have tier two and we have to get, um, I think wetlands, forest, and then um, flower fields, I think. I can't remember which one's which. So a beehive requires a forest. The uh, arbiter arbitrarium requires a burnt area. Solar amplifier requires power, provides sunlight. D desiccator. Oh, this is what creates who starts things on fire. Okay, uh, we don't have any. Oh, we do have a tree here. We do have some pine trees. Okay, so we need to start off by setting some of these pine trees up. Because in order to make um in order to create the ash that we need for the for this we need beehives so it's like we kind of got to do a little bit of beehives and stuff like that now the problem is that when you burn stuff you actually burn the machines too so you kind of want to make sure everything's like good to go uh let's see what's another is there another good spot over here we'll do that and then we have a wetland area too interesting how come i can't place this Hmm. I thought we could place this. Oh, it has to be placed on an irrigator. That's right. Okay, so we could place it right here. That would create a wetland. So this is one of our only options. Let's go ahead and get that there. So we're gonna need another irrigator next to a wetland. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and get a calcifier. Let's grab this. And then let's grab an, uh, a soil sucker. We might as well clear all the soil up too. But then we need an irrigator right here. So we'll throw an irrigator right there. Now we can go ahead and throw this here. That'll give us a wetland in this area. Ooh, we're not doing really great on the wetlands though, are we? Are we <laughs> we kind of need more of them. You know what, let's do this. Let's get a calcifier there. This thing there. And then can we get another I want like a big, huge line right here. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Is it going to blow all this stuff up? Is that, what's, is that what it's saying? Oh, it just turns it back to rock. Okay, that's fine though. Hey, look at there comes the water. Get in here, water. Perfect. All right, let's get some soil suckage in here. Soil sucker. Uh, soil sucker. Okay, so now I can place one of these here. That'll also give me some more wetland. So let's grab this, let's grab that. That'll give us 101. Is that enough? Oh my gosh, we're almost there on the wetland. I'm trying to get the wetland done first. We need another irrigator somewhere. All right, we'll throw an irrigator there. Turn this into a wetland, maybe. Oh, does that not work there? 
Well, never mind. I, oh, it's because it's up on a cliff. Darn. Messed that one up. All right, this one should become an irrigator. Okay, and then that will take us over in our wetland. Perfect. Oh, look at the beautiful wetlands. Oh, it's so wonderful, so wonderful. All right, now let's get, we gotta get with our biodiversity here. So, let's go ahead and expand that out. And then let's go ahead and expand this out. All right, and then let's go ahead and let's do, so this requires sun, we need a solar amplifier. And then we need a desiccator. Okay, so that's gonna light this whole area on fire, I think. So let's see what happens. And then that's gonna give us the ash. Holy moly. Talk about forest fires. Oh, it just keeps going, doesn't it? Holy moly. All right, so now we can get these on here, which will provide us with the forestry stuff. Oh my gosh, we almost hit it with just that one. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, perfect. <laughs> Nailed it. All right, so the rest of these, basically we just need to go ahead and add to these trees. Let's see, we got more trees over here. All right, that should be it. No, one more? Uh-oh. I don't have another one. Uh, all righty then. Actually, if I do this, it's going to do minus five. Uh, let's see. Can we get anything over here? All right, let's get this in here. Maybe we can get a tree. No tree. All I need is one of those trees. Okay, I think we're going to put it right here. With biodiversity restored, we can begin the process of cleaning up. You need to construct an airship of recycled materials. You've also been given access to advanced weather technologies. All right, so here's our... Uh, we have our advanced cleanup crew, because we, we have to clean up all these machines, too. But uh, let's go ahead and let's get some weather in here. So temperature pylon requires electricity, rock, and... Oh, it requires a solar amplifier. Okay. And then we also have a humidity pylon, which requires wetland and electricity. Okay, so let's get, let's start working on this. Actually, our temperatures, is our temperature perfect? Yeah, our temperature's perfect. We actually just need to work on humidity. All right, so let's get that 8%. So as you see, every time we place one of those, we get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more uh, humidity. Okay, so this is going to take us to almost perfect. And then I think it starts raining, and then all of this becomes wetland. Or not wetland, but it all becomes, like, plantable. Okay, so we literally just need a uh, hair more. Perfect. That will get us right in the middle of the X. Oh, we've got some rain. Now we should start seeing uh, these tiles get like turn into like a good dirt. I don't know if they'll actually start growing green or not. Oh, we got birds. And we've got deer. Watch out for the storm. Oh, they do turn green. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Look at all of that. Beautiful. It's just so fun watching it. Like, look at everything is all nice and green again. Now, what's actually kind of cool, too, is um, they have been working on different biomes, too. So they're working on, like, tropical biomes where you do tropical things. And they're working on, like, snowy biomes and stuff like that. So uh, that's all going to be super cool. 
I can't wait for all that to come out. But we've got a cleanup now. That's all we got to do. So we've got our airship, which we can place pretty much anywhere um, on the water, I believe. I thought it had to be next to the water. Requires water. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our airship here. And then as we clean things up, so we'll get a recycling drone. Let's go get a recycling drone right here. Um, and then we have a silo, which sucks up everything into one thing. And then a loading dock. And then a pound lock, which allows the drones to go up and down. Okay, so we need to get silos in here and basically work everything to our water sources. So let's go ahead and let's grab um, all of these. And then we're going to work this way to the water because this silo will suck up that silo. And then so on and so forth. That's going to suck up that silo and all these. And then this. We need to get our silo a little bit closer. That'll suck up that silo. And then basically we can just put it in here. And then that drone will come up here, take this silo, and then report it back to uh, the ship. I love that there's like a cleanup phase. That's it's like a it's kind of like a puzzle thing in itself too. It's so much fun. All right, there's that one. Let's go and get a silo in there. That'll clean up that stuff. And then we need to run through all of this stuff right here. Actually, I don't think we actually have a lock in here that we would need. So let's go ahead and let's try to get everything. Let's go ahead and just try to get everything over here. All right, so there's that one. That's all cleaned up. Now we need to get this stuff right here. So we still need to grab those. See, this is gonna be interesting because we've got to get it. Oh, actually right here will be perfect because they can come right down here. Okay, let's get some of these cleaned up. I think we actually get stuff back from cleaning these up, too. One there. There. And then we'll throw one over here. So that's going to grab that one. Yep. And we get, uh, we get some materials back. And it's going to run up here and grab this one. And then all we have to do is basically finish recycling everything. Why is this such a fun game? Why is this so good? I love it. I cannot wait for it to come out. Okay, so basically we just have this area right here left. Let's see if we can't just pull it all down. Pull that down this way and then we'll pull this down to right here. Pull that down over there. How are we going to get these? And then we'll grab these. And then let's see. That'll grab that one. That'll grab that one. That one. And that one. I think that's it. I think we've done it. We've successfully terraformed a, a wasteland. Oh, perfect. And then that's going to go here. Then that's going to return the airship. The airship's going to leave. And it's going to look like we were never here before. All right. So 100% waiting on the drone. Drone's going to return and we're going to leave. I like how huh, we're going <laughs> to. We're going to make like an airship and leave. Leaf, get it? Drone. Terraforming. Plants, leaves, ever. anyways, you know what I mean. I like how there's like leaves covering the inside of this uh, ship too. All right, there she be. Launch away. I had to take a screenshot, of course. Oh, look at us go. Look at us go. Those deer are so happy. We have, oh, what about the drone? Oh, we forgot the ship. 
What about that guy? Are we gonna grab him? Oh, perfect. I was worried. We can't just leave a drone here. Wasteland reclaimed. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. There you have it. One reclaimed wasteland continue. But that's going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Terra Nil. Again, there's a free demo uh, downloadable uh, through the link down below. Um, there is no date yet, as far as I know, that they've talked about. Um, but I'm super excited. Look at that. So, like, there's the little area we cleaned there. And it looks like we're going to be able to, like, you know, hop around different areas, different things. I wonder if there's going to be, like, different planets, too. Oh, my gosh. It could be super cool, like, terraforming other planets. But, um, yeah. Thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.